Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to Kane. I don't know how much longer this is, but I feel like this might be the end of the game that we're getting towards. So, yeah, I don't know what else to do in here. We've, we've read all the PDA. There was no more new codes. All that's left is to go to the elevator. Red hologram. What is that? Small plumes, holographic particles rotate slowly. They indicate that this room, this door is locked. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a thing that said that it was going to put out flames, right? Okay, that's whatever flames it wanted me to do. Okay, it's not here. Let's leave. Hedley, you can't leave me. I am. Um. Go to the elevator. Oh, come on. happened Samantha okay so what the fuck I, I guess that was the uh, the bad Fire suppression device. Where could I use that? That was in the the crew facilities, right? There was a fire because I couldn't get up to that one area because there was a fire blocking the way. Boombox. On. I don't know what the glossy photo is going to do either. Like, can I use the bo that on the boombox? I don't think it'll do anything. Yet it does. Why? Voice file captured. Can I get a J O S E P H? What? Oh, Joseph Bueno. Why the hell? Why did I? I'm confused. I know I did that randomly. A voice sample of Joseph Bueno. Okay, I wasn't. I was just. I just saw that thing, and it's like the boombox was just kind of random. And I had a voice recorder. Fire suppression. Okay, this is obviously where the fire was. This one I'm doing on purpose. Inclined metal floor. Okay, there's a quest there's a a thing. 
Okay, I can actually do something. <laughs> Excellent. And I totally knew it was going to do that. Okay. Overgrown gardens. Nothing. I think that's what scares me. The idea that when we die, there's just... nothing. It's not nothing. Sounds like you have a life most are envious of. You have kids, right? A real family. Like people know you exist. Real life. Some of us never got off the starting line. You will have a family, soon. When I die, I want to leave something behind. You have that. I have student debt and a goldfish. Your legacy is the child inside of you. This baby deserves more than what I could ever give. It deserves to be part of something. Something bigger than me. A family. A home. A future. Okay. Uh, no. This one I remember from an earlier thing. There's a secret over here. I have to go over to the Overgrown Gardens. I think this is the last one. Let me just make sure while it's doing this. Again, I'm not looking up how to do things. I'm just looking at the unmissables. Okay, there's only one more. From what I can see, there's only one more secret. Um. Okay, what does this say? Uh, you guys have been staring at this the whole time, but... It's just another one of those. There's one more secret that I want to find. All right, let's go to this PDA. Chances are I'm going to forget to cut all that silence out, too, because I'm an idiot. All right, let's read this PDA. Okay, Joseph. Whoa, he's an angry looking dude. Shark! What the hell was I thinking? Oh, can't wait to read his shit. Um, I even said earlier, I think, when I was like, oh, I can't wait to read his stuff. Uh, I don't even want to know what happened in the lab. Uh, keep a bunch of pregnant bitches locked up in one place long enough, shit's gonna go down. Everybody knows that. But with Kane arriving next week, and now this fucking disaster, security is getting tighter than my glutes on a leg day. Well, gotta use this line at the inner... Departmental mixer later. Between this, my new skincare regimen, and that baby, let's make them, let's make a DNA halicose and unzip those jeans. T-shirt. Those sluts from the organ grinder are gonna be slip and sliding off their sleet seats. Oh, I'm kind of glad he's dead. I hit the jackpot, hit it, but didn't quit it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Gonna keep this plate spinning, because her name's Julia Kern, and she's only, wait for it, Professor Keen's daughter and his assistant. She's a solid 6.8 out of 10, maybe even a 7.1 if she'd shut the fuck up. Ugh. Nice deltoids. More importantly, though, she's in charge of Samantha and her grubs. I play this right, and I've got free tickets to the Ornan Grinders Petting Zoo whenever I want. More like heavy petting zoo. Major three threesome potential. Well, maybe. But seriously, this is this is just what you've been waiting for, Brosa. I hate this guy so much right now. I might even get to cop a feel off Samantha just thinking about it. It's getting me so hot. The new batch of hosts is gonna feel the burn tomorrow. I'm feeling that burn. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm really not liking that this guy's got a bunch and seems like he's going to have long ones. Is there anything after... Because December 25th is the latest I've seen on any of these. Got some annoying new guy bothering us in the lab about the facility's potential, new potential quantum parsons. Dane something or other. Total beta. He's even got a fucking pet bird. Had to sit through a whole preservation about shit. I don't know. I don't pay attention to chumps. I was too busy dreaming about the nasty things I was going to do with Samantha. Jesus fucking Christ, they, they went out of their way to make this guy hateable. Julia gave me a grand tour around the organ grinder yesterday. I noticed a spare larva incubation canister in one of the store, storerooms. It's a bit busted up, but I think I could fix it. The real problem is uh, liberating some of those grubs. 
But just imagine, I could grow my very own sexy mermaid monster. Maybe I could even put in the requisitioned cane tech for an extra office mod. Lol. Uh, in the meantime though, I've been cooking up a new sedative mix for the lab hosts that keep them nice and complaint, but also just a bit awake. You know, low enough consciousness to keep the EEG normal, but high enough that they know when I'm working on my special projects. Gotta keep myself busy, you know. Oh god, I forgot we read about this guy in the beginning. His extracurricular activities. There's something wrong with the, with the food, I swear. Some people are shitting out their eyes. I told one of the interns that Dane's been doing the ra- that, that been dosing the ra rations with radioactive goo. Because fuck that guy and his dumbass bird. And it's totally the kind of thing a beta loser like him would do for attention anyway. What the fuck is up with his, his cheese diet? Sure enough, everybody was blaming that asshole in about two hours. I don't like Dane either, but I hate this guy more. Managed to grab that larva incubator and two grubs while everybody else in the lab was cramming the toilets, though. Hello, Grubat and Grubbelina. Who's Grubbelina? <laughs> Adams paid me to hook up to hook up with some chick off-site last night. He gave me a bunch of Oh my god. Oh god. When friggin' Julia was talking about, like, he slept with another girl, it was Hadley. He gave me a bunch of performance enhancing pills, like the sexual Tyrannosaurus needs it, lol. And I had to get video proof and everything. He was very insistent about that. I didn't know he was into that kinky voyeur shit. Actually, I kind of thought he was into me. That old creeper eyeballs me, like, constantly. Does he make me kind of, like... Oh, is this the guy that they're saying is related to Kane? Uh, is that, like... Does that make me kind of, like, hot wife, but a dude version? Is that gay? Whatever. It's cash in the bank, and Julia won't ever find out. Oh, she finds out! Like, we didn't already have enough shit stains already at the facility. Kane has sent us a fucking health and fitness officer to sort out the food problem. I'm gonna guess that health and fitness officer was, uh, was Ralph. Uh, instead of sending us more food, what the hell are those corporates smoking in the boardroom? Because I could use some of that. July, okay, there's three more. Shit's been fucking crazy. First, the arm malfunctions in the, malfunctions in the lab. Uh, don't know what the deal is there. And we've had egg hex coming in and out of all hours trying to fix it. And we lost, we lost two shipments of hose. On the one hand, it's pushed us behind schedule, but on the other, the bruises on those whores were starting to show. Now I've got the whole fresh canvas on my for my art. Uh, I don't know what... whatever. And hey, remember Ralph? Yeah, Ralph's out, technically. It was kind of decided he'd be more useful as a PDD printer, printer's new CPU. And nobody else was more fit or healthy for the position. Well, now Ralph's doing some real some real work for the company. And nobody has to worry about logging their macros and carbs and whatever. And I monitor my own anyway. Oh, and somebody found a thing in atmospherics. Like some kind of puppet made of rotting body parts. I'm pretty sure it's the hobo's. Gr hobo's girlfriend or some shit. Lol. I guess some guy's got to get it where he can. And let's be honest, who am I to judge? That's true. Last but not least, I think Grumbelina might be pregnant. Yeah, she's definitely getting fatter, and not just because she's f she fucking ate Grubat. For reals, that is a thing that legit happened. Jinoed and her carcass for like a whole week. Nod. Okay, nod at her carcass for like a whole week. Uh, and her boobs are getting huge. A little punishment and a spew. And, and they spew grubs milk everywhere. It's actually kind of hot, but gross, but also hot. What the fu- I thought these were grubs! Julia is beginning to irritate the shit out of me. Since when are a few bruises not a sign of love? A few, lol. Chivalry when they like it and sexism when they don't. Dude, I am totally the new resident DJ in the crew lounge. My sexy tunes are making the bitches hot for the bro for a brosive meetup. Get it? Uh, I've put my playlist on repeat. 
on the vintage boombox. That's what would have told me. That's right there would have told me to go to the boombox. Pussy magnet. Some kind of emergency drill with the elevator. Don't know what it's about, but it's serious. Ugh. Now somebody's fucking screaming in the corridor. Gotta go, brah. Fucking hell. Ripped open door. I'm gonna guess this is Brosif's room. I hope there's blood everywhere. This and room is not. much smaller than the other. Maybe he drew the short straw. <laughs> this isn't the only small thing he has. Ha ha ha, another penis joke. Ripped up bed sheets. There's no blood, so he wasn't in here when things got ripped up. The reckless disarray suggests somebody was looking for something. Ow. Okay, that just takes me back. Uh, personal safe. Painted portrait. Returning some holodisc by JB. It's scribbled in the corner. Destroyed personal terminal, whatever might have been useful, it's wiped out now. Uh, personal safe, it's a heavy duty electric safe. <laughs> DNA sample required. Okay, um. Well, he's got kisses on that, so. DNA accepted. Voice imprint. That would have told me to go over to the boombox and get his voice. See, I did the thing by accident, and now I'm just like, I kind of missed out of like ex of like progression. Because I think it would have been better if I had actually had to go back and get the things. It's weird. I'm weird. Voice playback. Sit back and relax, and let the brosive take you. J-O-S-E-P-H Voice imprint accepted. Oh, what the fuck? He's got a secret room. This place keeps getting stranger. Uh, okay. What's next? Oh, um. dear. Can you, um... Can you understand me? Do you... Do you need, um... I'm at a loss for words. I think that's Grubbelina. Yeah, that's Grubbelina. Fleshy creature. Its mouth sucks wetly at the stale air. Bloated teats heavily protrudously above a clammy, heaving... Ponderously above a clammy dis God damn it acclamation of a limb like appendage that clatter the clatter and scramble against the metal pan. Uh, incubation canister. I'm about to say there's gotta be something actually in here that I can use. Okay. Jelly yellowing mattress or grimy yellowing mattress. So, a damp, mildewy stink emanates from this place. So something's been peeing on this mattress. Okay, so now I have a thing, and this it was in a grub room. So, I think I need to go back to the grubs. So, let's go back to them. Pretty sure I'm done with it, whatever's in Joseph's room. Actually, wait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, um... So now I need to go back to... Um... Come on. Oh, I have to actually click on this. And then slowly go down the inclined metal floor. Before I can get out.
Don't want to take the phrase bun in the oven too literally. Jeez. I feel like there's something you need to do with Grumbelina, but I'm not sure what. Like, it just feels like... I don't know. Yeah. Um... I haven't, you know... Oh, I just now fucking thought of something. I was just like, you know, there's an item I haven't used yet. You know what that item is? The whip. What did Brosif like to do to people? He liked to whip people. I probably should have tried whipping the fucking grub. Let's go back. I know, I know, we just went th through the whole process of getting down those stairs. Let's just, let's just try. If it doesn't, I'll cut it all. I'll cut all this out and just say it didn't work. But it's like, something tells me I need to do the whip, or I need to whip Brosif. Or whip the grub. I just wish this was faster. Come on, you can go faster than that. Okay. I doubt this will do anything, but it's worth a try, because I haven't used the whip yet. And I don't think she would actually whip him. Or whip it. Oh god. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Okay. I don't have the stomach for this. So she just picked up some random milk. So can I mix that with anything? Like, maybe the... Oh, the canister. You'd think I would have used the canister on the milk on the ground. That would have made more sense. Just saying, instead of having the glops of milk in your inventory. But it worked. Okay. Random thought worked. Okay. Um Can I get a J O S E? Where do I need to go now? Most likely I need to go to um Okay. I guess I have the gr I have grub stuff, so let's go back to the grub room. were here so they use these little guys to control Samantha and the gas they give off when they touch dead tissue calms her I need to catch one that, that would make sense okay All right, terminal Oh, there's, there's nothing to click on on this terminal. This just told me how everything works, and I've already used the, the code it gave me. So this isn't helping me at all. Okay, something... Needs to be used on the glass. Okay, it's not that. Oh, damn it. I didn't think this game was like that. Sometimes you guys get a nice peek at what games are coming up by looking at my freaking desktop. 
course, some of those games are just sitting there forever and will probably never be played. Uh, okay, I still have the whip. Okay. Sample retrieval node? Oh, shit. Locus, rate of channels to require full drop extraction. Okay. Locus, rate of channels to require full drop extraction. Okay, well, I have a canister. Oh, how do I switch that? God, I, I've been to every room. I don't have this. Alright, well, how do I, like... Okay, apparently they need to be... A... Apparently the temperature is not at a right temperature for them to be at what they're at. But... I don't want to freaking have to go straight to the... Um, thing. But I don't know anywhere else that I can click on. That's just Kane. I don't. There's nothing in Kane's place. And there's nothing left in here. Like, well, there's a restraining harness I didn't click on. Uh, that's not gonna do nothing. There's okay. There's nothing for me to click on here. This room is. This room's done. There's nothing left in Julia's room. There's nothing left in Brosif's room. There's nothing left in the Grub room. There's nothing in Kane's. Um. Try some of the stuff we have and go back. Shrine room. Is there anything new? Like, was there anything in the shrine room? Where's the thing at? Do I remember there being? Wasn't there a panel in there for something that I could never access? There was something. There's a temperature panel. <laughs> Why well, couldn't I use this before? I needed a PDT. Holy hell, this is a long time coming for this one. Um. What? I don't... I guess I could just go through every one of these and... He loves grubs. Or butt grubs, because it looks like it's got a butt. What was the room for the... How the hell am I going to find that? Was there a... Uh, I'm going to have to check all the PDAs. Like...
Like, I know that the thing was... What was it? Something about 95 degrees and... Because, like, it's saying something about RH and Fahrenheit. So, it's like, I remember they mentioned that the grub's, like, 95 and they, like, um... Uh, what was it? 84? Is 84 RH? So, I guess I could set every single one of them to that. It would take a while, but it would work. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to fast forward. I'm going to do that. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright? The last thing I said to my what? son was to get out there and carve his own name into the world and stop relying on mine. Did you mean it? Sometimes kids know that their parents say things they don't mean. My mom? The last thing she said to me was that I was the reason she was alone. That I sapped the life out of her from the moment I came into existence. You know that's not true. A small part of me knows that. A bigger part doesn't. Well, now that there's story stuff going on, I'm pretty sure I've made the right choice on one of those. <laughs> that was kind of annoying though to tell you the honest that's why I wasn't really like responding very quickly after I was out after I logged out and it's like it said another secret I don't really know what that one was but it was like it kept repeating thanks for finding the secrets and it's like I guess they'll stick to the end since they're so close so I'm guessing I am at the end of the game uh, now I gotta go back to the grub room, which is here. Okay, um... Let's see... We got the grubs. Oh, everything's happy! So... Now that the grub thing is happy, let's put this on the platform. No, oh, well, we see a grub that decides that it wants to leave. Oh, those things are disgusting. And Joseph was freaking screwing one of them? Okay. Gotcha. What's your name? Frederick? No. Freddy. Charles. Yeah, you're clearly a Charlie. One of my sons was named Charlie. Was? He died. His mother... She never forgave me. It was my fault. I should have protected him. I should have him People... People die. Sometimes you just can't do it. Okay, then. Well, Charles, I think we're going to go back to Frederick. Right. There. So his name's Freddy. Well, what do we do with Freddy now? Well, we have the grub, so I guess we just go to the elevator now? Lure Samantha somewhere with Freddy. Maybe I could kill... Yes. Alright, well, before I go to the elevator, I'm going to save it. The next conversations I have with my children, it will be different. 
Second chances at life don't come around often. Second chances? Your dad would be proud of you, Hadley. If he knew me, he knew who I had become. A survivor. It's not my fault that I look like him, or act like him. And it's certainly not this baby's fault that I'm here. That's, that's on me. I can't blame my child for where I am. Your I father is in your stomach! Family. Family. <laughs> Well, not your stomach, but you know what I mean. All right, well, we're going to save it. Oh, I was about to say, come on. I hate when it moves the mouse automatically. All right. Let's go to the elevator. Let's get out of here. I have to click on the elevator with Freddy. And I get it. Don't have to show me the whole end thing again. Okay, let's try that again. But this time we'll use Occupied. Grub squirms so there's around inside the glass enclosure. Now let's use you. Where am I? I don't even know where I am. Okay, she's right there. Okay, she was moving. Okay, she's moving towards the elevator. I couldn't. I was looking over on the top left and stuff. I didn't see. Come on. Is it going to be the exact same? Or am I doing something wrong? <laughs> no. Nope. Same thing as always. Alright, this is definitely getting annoying. And I do not want to have to continue this over and over. This is incubation. Maybe I need to put it on something? Maybe... Like, it's incubator. Maybe I have to put the grub in something as a as bait? That's why I'm going to the power generation. I'm thinking, like, maybe... Because Dane's body's been sitting there, and he's dead. It's the only body I've seen. The other body's gone. I could probably put it on Kane. I'll try Dane first, and then maybe we'll go over to Kane. Maybe if I put it on Kane, and Samantha will just rip Dane apart, or Kane apart. I don't know. This is the only body I could think of, and incubation makes me think putting it inside something. So, I don't know. I'm just grasping straws. If I can't figure it out, really? They wanted you to... They left that. They left this. Because people were probably having trouble. And it's one of those things where it's like... You would go around and you would just go from room to room to room. And then you would eventually come back here. And you would to go check all the other rooms. And they would they would just pass him up. They did that. They did that. My thoughts were right. But they made it so that you could not fail. Ah. Uh, okay, Freddy. Time to call Big Mama. Why don't you hide? I don't think she, you want to be in the same room. 
Yeah, hide. Well, that takes care of Samantha. Becky, come on. It's time to go. I can get help. I can find you now. No time. The elevator. It's close. It's open. I did it. We did it. This baby is going to be a fighter like his mom. I can feel it. I know. Come to mama. Come on, let's go take the grub with us. The grub survived. Actually, hold on. No, no, no. Samantha. The fey beast has been splayed in two. A sickly wisp of steam rises from exposed innards. Alright, let's get out of here. I was wondering how we were going to kill it. I didn't think we were going to. I figured it was going to be one of those, uh, like, you just escape, and the creature's down here, and it eventually maybe gets out. But no, we killed it. They're going to find, someone's going to find us, and they're going to be like, you have a whip and some weird alien doodad. What is this? But yeah, let's finally get out of here. And it's almost an hour. Sweet. This is like, what, three episodes? Maybe four? I can't remember. is this obviously they crashed okay there's all these different facilities each of those lights is another facility around what looks like a crashed spaceship I need to check out this creators other games there might be some other answers here a Bischoff Brothers game well congratulations you guys made a good game and there's only two voice artists Eh, not bad Ryan Cooper did the voice for everyone? Well, because Haley was the only... F there was really only one female voice. Well. Yeah, definitely... I think the other game he, the, they made is a game called, like, Stasis or something, so... Or Stasiosis, or... I can't remember. Hey, look who it is! It's Mr. Kane himself! Thanks for killing our protagonist. I figured that was going to happen. I, I knew the whole time that it's what it was. Well, not the whole time, but... The only person who's still alive down there is John. Or Adams. Is that his name? John? Or whatever it was, Adams. He's still stuck behind the friggin', like, force field. I probably could have friggin', like, gone talk to him and seen what he wants, but... Whatever. That was Kane. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye.